Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com The project title is Energy Aware Cooperative Wireless Networks with Multiple Cognitive Users The project abstract is The process going to analyze cooperative cognitive radio networks with arbitrary number of secondary users that is SU We propose power allocation and scheduling policies that optimize the throughput for both primary users and secondary users that means PU and SU with maximum energy calculations. The performance of the system is evaluated in terms of throughput and delay under different opti opportunistic delay selection. The project flow diagram is to select the antenna to transmit the information and give the best performance of our process. Initially we create a system model. In this model is based on MIMO, it means multiple input and multiple output system. Next we have to select the antenna and also select the users. Here we are using the two types of users. First one is primary user and second one is secondary user. In this user selection process, first step to allocate the power and second step to select the node for both primary and secondary users. In our process to form a queuing to transfer the data. Here we are using implementing and queuing delay. Finally we measure the performance. First one is maximum power and second one is throughput our project source code file was run from the command window in current folder shows the file in our source code file was main.m so we have to run that file the process will be going on the process was completed. In figure 1 shows the number of transmission and reception for various transmitter is n is equal number of transmitter. In x label shows the power maximum and y label shows the probability of success on relay link. In figure 2 shows the simulation and theoretical results for number of transmission. In x label shows the power maximum and y label shows the probability of success on relay link. In figure 3 shows the number of throughput for primary and secondary user. In AP BSL for red color line and pink color line shows AP and BSL and blue color line shows AP BSL and green color line shows the AP BSL. It is the different algorithm to implement to calculate the primary and secondary user for throughput. In X label shows the lambda and Y label shows the SU throughputs. In SU means secondary users. In figure 4 shows that the average primary package for delay for various lambda users. It is based on our average primary user delay for lambda. So our proposed method is APBSL for simulation work. According to that process, the values will be shown on the table. So we have to verify the values up to 100. So it is based on our processing time. In figure 6 shows that the average primary package delay versus lambda for accuracy graph. So it is based on our lambda value. So APBSL for, for maximum for our process. So average primary user delay for X label and Y label. Y label shows the average primary user delay and x label shows the lambda in figure 7 shows the average secondary user transmitter power normalized to n naught versus p maximum of equal to n naught in x label shows the power maximum and y label shows the average transmitted power it is the value to implement our process so apbsl and epbsl so we have to measure the value to our table to it to up to 10 values our proposed method is a epbsl value
for number of transmission and reception so finally we have calculate the energy loss of primary and secondary user so it going to our processes secondary user to achieve the high performance to compare as the primary so according to that process the variables are declared to the workspace we have to verify the value to minimum and maximum so the project demo was completed thanks to watching this video